Hello, my first graders. Today we're on page 633 in our math book. That's lesson 11.1. Okay, so find page 633, hit play when you're ready. All right, so we're gonna be looking at three-dimensional shapes. So remember, three-dimensional shapes means that they don't just have one side, they have many different sides, right? And we looked at these shapes before. Okay, like a rectangular prism where you see a rectangle on one side, you might see a square on a different side, um, maybe like a cone, right? Remember we said like an ice cream cone um, where you have, a, you have a curved side and then on your flat side you see a circle. These are three-dimensional shapes. It means that they're not just flat shapes like you would draw, like a triangle. It means that they have many sides, okay, and we always see those the dot to dot lines, right? That lets us know that there's more sides to them. So it says draw to, sh draw to sort the three dimensional shapes. So how can we sh sort these shapes? Okay, what if we wanna put them into two groups? Well, we could sort them by color, couldn't we? These shapes are blue, these shapes are red, but we could also sort them by shape couldn't we? Look at this shape. Do you remember what one, what we call this? Yeah, those are cubes, right? Here's a cube right here where we have a square on all the sides, okay? No matter how we turn it, we see a square. So those are all cubes. Do you see the squares on each side, right? The square, okay? So we can sort them instead of by color, we can sort them by shape. So let's put a circle around all the cubes. Do you remember what we call this shape? Looks like a ball, right? Doesn't have any flat sides, it's all curved. What did we call that? Sphere, okay, so these are spheres. So remember, sphere is like the word fear, like you're afraid of something, fear, but then we put the S sound at the beginning. Sphere, sphere. So we're gonna circle the sphere, see all those? Okay, so we had the cube and the sphere. So that's how we sorted them. We could have done them by color. We could have even done them by size, right? Some of them are big and some of them are small, but we sorted them by shape today. All right, on the next page, we see our three-dimensional shapes here at the top. Let's go over the names of the three-dimensional shapes, just a reminder, because by the time we're finished with this chapter, we really want our unit, we really want to know the names. So this is sphere. Remember the pH makes that F sound? Sphere. This is a sphere. Remember it's shaped like a ball, right? Round on either side, on all sides. Okay, there's no flat sides, so no matter where we stick it, it's always gonna wanna roll because there's no flat sides. Sphere, that's our word sphere. Here's our cone, here's our word cone. So remember, cone has the rounded sides and then it has that flat circle on the bottom. Okay, our cone, round circle sides, flat on the bottom. Cylinder. Here's our word for cylinder. Cylinder has that soft C at the beginning, cylinder. This is a cylinder, okay? It has that round side, and then on either end, we have flat bottoms, so that make a circle. So here's our cylinder, okay? Cylinder, round, but each side, each end has that flat circle, flat circle. Rectangular prism. Okay, rectangular prism. So remember, we said a rectangular prism could have all rectangles or it could have, it's allowed to have squares on two ends if it wants. So even my rectangular prism that I have here, see the rectangle, okay? And look, the word rectangular prism. Rectangular prism has that word rectangle in it. Okay, rectangular prism, okay? rectangle on most of the sides. However, it could have a square on one of them. But remember, sometimes they're all rectangles, even like my pencil box right here. 
Okay, my, my colored pencils. This is a rectangular prism. A rectangle, rectangle, right? These all have rectangles. Even though the rectangles are different sizes as we go, they're still rectangles, okay? That's important to know about rectangular prisms. My box is a little messed up. So no matter what, it could have rectangles on either side, either, all sides of it, okay? Or it could possibly have a square on one, on two of the ends, okay? But the rectangles can be different sizes. See how this is long and skinny, right? And this is more, look, this side looks more like a regular rectangle. Okay? Just all, it all depends. They can be a little bit different. Cube, okay? A cube is where all sides have squares. All faces have squares. So when I look at the my cube, no matter how I turn it, I see a square. All the face, they call these faces. They all have, they all, or sur flat surfaces. They're all squares. It says use a three-dimensional shape. Sort the shapes into three groups. Name and draw the shapes. So this we're gonna just kind of talk about because it's hard for us to actually draw the shapes but it says only flat surfaces so let's look at our shapes which one of these only have flat surfaces and you know what we're gonna do I think we're gonna write the names of the ones with flat surfaces so let's look the sphere is there anything flat on there when I look at my sphere anything flat no how about the cone hmm only flat. Well, the cone has a flat surface, but look, it also has rounded. Oh, I lost my sphere. So that one doesn't work because it's not only flat. Flat, only flat, this word only, means that there can't be any curved surfaces. They're only flat. How about the cylinder? It's flat here, right? Flat here. But how about here? Is that flat? No. Rectangular prism. Are all the surfaces flat? Flat, flat, flat? Yes. So a rectangular prism only has flat surfaces. That means there's nothing round to that. So we're going to write the word rectangular prism. And if you want to pause to write it, because I know I write a lot faster than you do, you can pause. Okay, if you need to pause to finish writing it, you can. Rectangular prism, only flat surface. Now let's keep going. Cube, how about a cube? Does a cube have only flat surfaces? Look at how I'm turning it. Any, do you see anything curved? No, so a cube only has flat surfaces. So we're gonna write the word cube, okay, cube. If you need to pause, you can. Okay, so we used these two already. Now we need to look only a curved surface. So that means that every single side of this would have a curved surface. So we're looking for one shape that's all curves, nothing flat. So let's go back to the beginning. Sphere, sphere, let's look at that. Any flat surfaces? any no matter how I turn it no it's completely round so a sphere is only has only curved surface nothing flat so we're going to write the word sphere we're copying it right from here remember that ph makes that f sound ear sphere all right now let's take a look at our cone is there is it only curved? Oh, look at that. Is it? Uh-oh, that's flat, so that doesn't work. It has a curve, but it does have some flat. And our cylinder, the only other one we haven't used. Well, here's curved, but what do we say about this? This is flat, so that doesn't work. That was it, and we already used rectangular prism and cube because they were flat. This says both flat and curved surfaces. 
All right, so look what we have left, a cone and a cylinder. Let's look at our cone and our cylinder. It says both flat and curved. Well, this is curved and this is flat. So that works. We're gonna write cone down here because a cone is curved and flat. Now let's look at our cylinder and see if that works too. Here's our cylinder. Look at this. This part we call flat, look, flat. And then this part here is curved. Okay, so cylinder also goes down here. All right, so let's see how we sort it. Flat surfaces only were our rectangular prism and our cubed, only flat. That means we can sit it and it doesn't move, the flat surface, not rounded. Okay, only a curved surface. Well, that was only our sphere. Our sphere is completely round. There's nothing flat about it at all. And then both flat and curved, well, that was our cone, because it has our flat circle. See the circle right there, flat circle, and our curve around, and our cylinder curved around, flat circle on the bottom. Right, so that's how we sorted them. Use three-dimensional shapes. Write the number of flat surfaces for each shape. So it says a rectangular prism has six flat surfaces. So here's our rectangular prism, right? And if we count them, there's six. So I'm going to put my finger right here to start off. So we have one, this one is two, three, four, and then we're back to my finger, five, six. So that gave us six flat surfaces. A cube has blank flat surfaces some of you know this. Well, think about it. If a rectangular prism, look at how similar they look, has six flat surfaces, how many do you think the cube's going to have? Yeah, probably the same amount, right? Six. So let's just check and see. And you know what? I'm going to put a little tape on the side that we start instead of trying to use my finger because that was difficult. So let's see. We're going to start on this side and we'll go around. So there's one two, three, four, oh, we already counted that, four, five, six. So the cube also has six flat surfaces. The cube is really similar to the rectangular prism. Both of them have six flat surfaces. They're just different in size, right? In the shape, rectangle versus cube. But they have the same amount of flat surfaces. A cylinder has blank flat surfaces. Well, here's our cylinder. Let's see how many flat surfaces. This is round, so it doesn't count. One, two. Okay, cylinder has two flat surfaces. Each end has that circle. Okay, the flat surface, think about it as what you would trace if you could trace a shape. When it's like this, look, it rolls. You can't trace that, right? It's round. You can't trace. A sphere has blank flat surfaces. Oh, do you know? Look, here's our sphere. Is there any flat surfaces on a sphere? Can I put that down and, and make it stay? No. So we write zero. It has zero flat surfaces. All right. This says go deeper, right, to name each shape. So they use real objects. When you look at the soccer ball, the soccer ball is shaped like a sphere. And look, they wrote the word sphere down here. So look at this party hat. Oh, look, it comes to the point like this. What shape do you see? Yeah, a cone. So we're gonna write cone. My first graders, I want you to do the rest. Pause, hit play when you're ready to check. All right, let's see how you did. 
What did you put for this one? Cube. How about here, the can, the tin can. Cylinder. And the last one, a book. What was the book? <gasps> Rectangular prism. Now you might have had trouble fitting that on the line because even I have trouble. It's a big word. So whenever you're writing rectangular prism, you might have to write prism underneath. So remember, this one's a rectangular prism because look, do you see the rectangle shape on it? Right, rectangles. All right, if you need to fix something, go ahead and pause. If not, we're gonna turn the page. It says, circle the objects that match the clues. Kelly drew objects that have both flat and curved surfaces. So we need, it has to have both flat and curved. So let's look, the sphere, look that ball, does it have any flat surfaces? No, so it can't be that one. This megaphone looks like a, a cone, doesn't it? Is there flat and curved surfaces? Yes, yes, look, flat, right? Flat on this side and the rest is curved, so that works. Looks like a brick, right? Like a rectangle prism. Is, I we see flat surfaces. How about curved though? Is there curved? No, so we can't do that one. And look, there's another can, right? Just like our cylinder. Does that have flat surfaces and curved? Yes. So we're going to circle this one. All right, so our megaphone and our can had flat and curved surfaces. Right, number 14, remember math on the spot. You can watch that if you want. Sandy drew some rectangular prisms. So which one of these are rectangular prisms? Let's look. Is that a rectangular prism? Yes. How about the cube? No. The drum? No. Box of cereal? Yes. We know it's a rectangular prism because we see the rectangles on the rectangular prism, okay? The rest of them, look, no rectangles. The drum was our cylinder, right? And our block is our cube. Match each shape to the group. All right, so here again, we have both flat and curved surfaces, only flat, only curved. So let's look, both flat and curved. So look look through these shapes. Which one is flat and curved? Yeah. So you know what? I'm going to have you pause and work on this. So both flat and curved, both, right? And this is only flat and this is only curved. All right. When you're ready, hit play to check. All right, you ready to check? Both flat and curved, you should have had the cone and the cylinder. They both have that flat circle bottom, right? But rounded sides. Only flat surfaces. That should have been your cube and your rectangular prism. And only curved, that was our sphere. All right, so my first graders, you're gonna give it a try on your personal math trainer.